Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show us what he wrote to us. Children of God, the God that everyone is talking about, the God that was sent by his only father, the God that gave us a father God. Yes, children of God, we are one. Lord, I learned that I'm ministering unto you. I think so much about what to say to you so the children can understand that I'm ministering to you. Lord, Father, in your name, open the children's eyes. Not just their eyes, open up their hearts to understand that we are one. All the children of God is in you. And you are in them. I read that to him, Lord. I read to him, Lord, 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, the 17th verse. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. For I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children. For I read to him, Lord, it's given to one. So run all, run all, so you may obtain the prize. By coming to run all God's children, they will be running in a race with me. See, Lord, they did not teach your children what the race and how to be in the race, neither how to run the race. Lord, they did not teach your children to do what you delight. Lord, Father, please have mercy on us. I read to the children, Lord, that you told them everybody will know your name is the Lord. Lord, your father, the only father, our grandfather, for I told the children that you created everything. Lord, please forgive us, for we are one in you, and you are in us. So, Lord, Please forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, please. Forgive us, Lord, that God is so mighty. Forgive us, Lord, for we come short. Of your glory, forgive us, Lord, for listening to man, turning against our Father, Lord, Jesus Christ, so mighty, forgive us, Lord. 
and in your name. Grandfather God, forgive the children we turn against your your only beloved son, and he came, he came here to show everyone that he is the true, he is the light, your son, grandfather. Gonna make everything all right. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We've been following man, doing things, Lord. We doing things, listening to man. And they taught us to be against you, my Lord, our Lord. We are one. They taught me, Lord, that you were my Lord. But you're not. No, you're not. You're not my Lord, you our Lord, Father, Lord, Jesus Christ, I want to ask you, Lord, please forgive us, Lord, forgive all the children that sin you and me. Oh, Grandfather God, forgive us, please. Forgive us, Lord. Lord, you will, and you pray. You wept and prayed for all the children. Forgive us. You wrote, we honor you with our mouths and our hearts. His own so far away. Forgive us, Lord. Please forgive us, Lord. Have mercy on all, all, all your children. We come short of glory. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. We need, we need thee. They fussing and fighting. They got your children separated. Forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. They told us to follow. They told us to follow and they didn't know, Lord, what you delights. And everybody gonna know the truth that will make us free. It's you, Lord, it's you, Lord. The true and living word, forgive us, Lord. For lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge. Your holy word, knowledge of the holy will give you understanding. Oh, Lord, please forgive.
forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Please forgive us, Lord. Please. We come short of your glory. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for letting me minister unto you. Thank you, Grandfather God, for being my witness. Lord, you wrote to us in Isaiah, the fourth chapter, the 14th chapter, the 11th and 12th verse, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the 11th and 12th verse. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the heresy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible the 12th verse. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than, even a man than the wet gold wedges of O-P-H-I-R. O-P-H-I-R. You're going to take a man and make him more precious than gold. Lord, thank you for letting me minister unto you. A young lady say, I always talk to you like gloom and loom. But Lord, I read Ecclesiastes the seventh chapter, the third verse. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness and the consentency, contingency, C-O-U-N-T-E-N-A-N-C-E, -E -E, the heart is made better. Lord, I have cried to the children, I have even told them what is about to happen. They say, you don't know what's going to happen. Only God going to know what's happening. Only the Father. Not even Jesus know. Lord, if they say something like that, they don't know that you know everything. Even the Father knows everything. St. Mark, the 13th chapter, the 8th verse. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famine and trouble. Troubles. These are the beginning of sorrow. Lord, you have a president in your country. Want to talk about a man dingling. You have a man standing before your children and they count the lies he be telling. But you know what, Lord? They say we are divided. The children don't know that we are one in you and they cannot divide the children of God. That's why I offered them to come to runallgodschildren.com on their own free will and accordance. Be a witness. That what I read, Lord, you're going to show. 
For I told him, Lord, St. John, the third chapter, the 33rd verse, he that have received his testimony have set to his seal that God is true. Yes, Lord, you are true. And I'm here for a witness. And I learned, Lord, that I am the messenger of your father. And my, my message to all your children, read. Read for yourself. You told us not to trust man. I can't trust myself, Lord. I put my trust in you. And I don't know if the children can understand it or not. It doesn't make a difference. Because you showed them one thing. He that received his testimony. And none of them believed it. Thank you, Lord. For I turn another year to add on to this birth I had on this world. I even read Grandfather God born me. For you told them, again, you showing them your words, what is written. You told them God born, your father born you a witness. Yes, Lord, and we turned against you. I repent. A lady asked me, what do repent mean? I repent from knowing the lies they tell me or told me. I repent. You teaching me, Lord. That's why I tell your children to come to run all God's children so I can make it plain to them that you are Father, Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Son of the only father that gave us a father. You created everything, Lord. You created everything. And they turned their backs on you for man. When you brought them out of Egypt, you told Moses to go back down there. Because I'm going to destroy all of them. And Moses said, don't. You God, you better than that. And then you seem like you got kind of angry. And you say, you do what you want to do. You forgive. Lord, who believe your holy word? Who would believe that you Gave a poor man your word. Grandfather. Yes, he born me and gave me your word. The true and living word. You, Lord. And I'm going to praise your name. And that's what I'm doing right now before all these children. And they should learn one thing. First Samuel, the second chapter, the third verse. Walk no more so exceedingly proud. Let not your arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. Yes, Lord, I hear them teaching your children. Taking the truth, evil spoken of. 
got your children separated. Took away our worthy name. Yeah, children of God. They made us stop saying we are children of God. They got us talking about a religion and I read to them what religion is to you and to your father. But they still doing the same thing you asked them not to do. Now I told them this, Lord, Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, the 28th verse, what you showing us. Therefore, say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, You, Jesus, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word in which I have spoken shall be done. Saith the Lord God. Yes, you are Lord God. And the promise is everybody going to know your name. I read it to him, Lord. I read it to him in Jeremiah, the 16th chapter, the 21st verse. Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know my hand and my might. And they shall know that my name is is the Lord. Lord, ministering unto you, part 84. The introduction, I don't have that written down. For I'm talking unto you, Lord, showing the children that I am ministering to you how do they talk to your kids in your house of prayer? I read to the kids, the lad, I read to the children of God, not kids, children of God, that know right from wrong. I read to them that two men went up to your house of prayer to pray. Not to hear whoever is going to minister to them. But they went up there to pray in your house. One went to the front and stood and said, Lord, I'm not like these children, these people. I fast twice a week. I give tenth of my earnings. And I'm not like the Republican that's standing back there. Please, Lord. And the man that was in the back the Republican. He stroked his chest and he bowed his head. He wouldn't even look up towards heaven. And he said, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me for I have sinned against thee. Oh, Lord, you asked him who do you think the Lord will hear? The man that stroked his chest and wouldn't look up and ask for his forgiveness. For he have sinned, Lord. And every time I get to minister unto you, I ask you to forgive us. Every last one that's in us. Because we went against you, Lord. 
The children don't want to say it because they don't teach them that. They teach them to build each other up, not comfort each other. Before God, this is what I wrote, Lord. What I learned. Because I told him I'm ministering to you. And I'm reading to you what you're going to show. What I learned. Even who I am that I am. Ministering to our Lord, Father, God, Jesus Christ. Almighty. It is written. Galatians, the second chapter, the 20th verse. Now the things in which I write to you, behold, before God, I lie not. And that's what this is about, Lord. Before God, I lie not. We are one, God's children. Be a witness with Grandfather God. Ministering, Lord, Father, who believe us? I have became God's children enemy because I am ministering to you and called the only Father, Grandfather God. Lord, Father, your house of prayer are angry at me because I am a child of God. And I'm your minister. Do the children of God know it is written? Galatians, the sixth chapter, the third and the fourth verse. For if a man think himself to be something when he's nothing, he deceive himself. But let every man, the fourth verse, but let every man prove his own work. Then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Lord, Father, I learned we, children of God, you ask us to take heed, watch, and pray. I was taught I can stand and pray. Reading your holy word, I was taught by you when you pray, pray. Our Father, which are in heaven. For it is written how to pray. St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, the ninth through the thirteenth verse. And they say, they tell your children that they don't know how to pray. But they don't teach them when you pray. This is what you asked us to do when you came. Who do that, Lord? Excuse me, who does that? Lord, Father, in secret pray. You taught me. It is written, St. Matthew, the sixth chapter, the eighth verse. But thou, when thou prayest, Enter into the closet, enter into thy closet, and thou hast shut the door. Pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. All through Lekin, Lord, they Pray. They tell your children how to pray. Excuse me. The 
the seventh verse, St. Matthew, the sixth through the eighth verse. But when thou pray, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thyself. Pray to thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, will reward you openly. People say, well, I don't have a closet. You didn't get secret out of it. Why would you let children of God know your pray unto the Father that already knows what you're going to say. Yes, Lord, you say they don't believe you. The seventh verse. But when ye pray, use not vain repetition as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. The eighth verse. Be ye not there forth unto them. Be not ye there forth unto them. For your father knoweth what things you have need of. For ye ask. Hmm. Yes, before they ask him, he already knows it. That's why you know everything. Because of the Father. Ministering to our Lord, Father God, Lord, who believes? It is re written, <clears throat> Ezekiel, the 12th chapter, the 28th verse. Therefore, say unto them, thus said the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word in which I have spoken shall be done said it, the Lord. Lord, Father, I did not know I'm the messenger for Father God, our grandfather God, my witness. Lord, Father, it is written, Psalms, the 64th chapter, the ninth verse. For all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. Yes, Lord, they will consider your doing. And Lord, Father, they say they are following Jesus Christ, teaching the children of God to follow them. They too are following the teaching of Jesus Christ. That's what they say. Yes, that they too are teaching You, Lord, taking the truth evil spoken of. Because, Lord, I read to him that you asked us to do what you delight. Lord, Father, it is written, Psalms, the 70th chapter, the fourth verse. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. 
And let such as love thy salvation say continuously, let the Lord be magnified. Who want to have fellowship with us, Lord? I read to him, Lord, that if they come to run all God's children, they will have fellowship with us. And they will learn what you are about to do. And they can do what you wrote to us. Watch. That's all you ask the children to do. You wrote what I say to all I say. Watch. Lord Father, it is written, Psalms, the 70th chapter, the fourth verse again, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. For let such as love thy salvation, and let such as love thy salvation say continuously, let the God be magnified. Let God be magnified. You, Lord. Lord, Father, I did not know until I received my testimony to seek you. And I learned, it is written, Psalms, the 27th chapter, that 8th verse. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Lord, Father, how long before the truth be read to all the children of God? In Lord, Father, God, Jesus Christ, almighty name, please, Lord, God's children, please show Lord, God's children, why you, Grandfather God, told your son to sit down? Yes, Lord, I read that to him. The children of God do not believe I called on you, Lord, Father, Lord God, and Grandfather God. Lord, Father, are the children of God taught what you hate? About that lying tongue? Lord, Father, I've been seeking you for 40 years. Today is my birthday. Lord, Father, and Father God, please do what I ask of you all. Show this world who I called on that are one with us. Lord, Father, you learned me, and I know that don't sound, but you have taught me that we are one. Lord, Father, I learn it is written, St. John, 1 John, 1 John, the fifth chapter, the tenth verse. He that believeth on the Son of God have witness in himself. You in me, Lord. He that believeth not God have made him a lie because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. Lord, Father, I believe that belief sent faith, the true and living word. I'm ashamed, Lord, 
If I knew what to do, I would have done it. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Grandfather God. Lord Father, you are the truth. I do not, I do not know if the children of God knows you are our Father, Lord God. I know what I was taught by this world that man and woman destroyed because we listen to man and not listen to God. You tell us not to do and we did. Yes, the opposite. What you've been telling us not to do, get away from these people. Now they mingled with us and we can't tell the difference because we act like them. I ought to know I was taught in this world. I was raised in this world. Everything that I learned, I learned of this world. From working to even to you, Lord. But I never knew you, Lord, until you started teaching me. You heard my cry. You pitied my mom. I cried about my kids, my mama, my daddy, my brothers, and these people that's in us, Lord. This got to stop. They got to know the truth. They got to know why they repent. Because we turned against you, Lord. The children of God do not believe I called on you, Lord God, and Grandfather God. Lord Father, are the children of God taught what you hate? Lord, Father, I've been seeking you 40 years. Lord, Father, and Father God, please do what I ask of you all. Show this world who I called on that are one with us. Lord, Father, you learned me. You taught me that we are one. Lord, Father, I'm learning. It is written. 1 John, the 5th chapter, the 10th verse. He that believeth on the Son of God have witness in himself. He that believeth not have made God, have made him a lie. Because he believed not the record of God gave of his son. Lord, Father, I believe that belief sent faith, the true and living word. I'm ashamed, Lord. If I knew what to do, I would have done it. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Grandfather God. Lord, Father, you taught Lord Father you are the truth I do not know if the children of God knows you are our father Lord God I know what I was taught by this world that man and woman destroyed because we Listen to man and not listen to God. You tell us not, you tell us not to, and we did, and we do. What you tell us not to do? Yes, everything you warn us about. Yes, Lord Father, you told us 
to put our trust in you. And we trust man. The children of God still, to this day, all of us come short of glory, but no more will I be that way, Lord. I repent. I will do what you delight. They have divided your children. I repent. And all God's children will have to and tell you why they are repenting. They will not tell me. They will not they will not say but I will. Lord Father, I repent because I lack knowledge. That's what you wrote. That your children lack knowledge. And that's why we are destroyed. But the truth will be told. And they will not divide us anymore. They have divided your children. I repent. And all God's children will have to and tell you why. They will not tell me. They will not say, but I will say, Lord, Father, I repent because I lack knowledge. I read what you, Lord Father, delights. I knew not. There is more that I repent for. Lord Father, ministering to you, I learned the only Father God called Lord Father's children sweet smelling Savior of Jesus Christ. Why? Why are we sweet smelling Savior of Jesus Christ that your father told us we are? Because that's what we are. They won't lack knowledge no more because you wrote knowledge will go all over the world and then they will respect yeah, they got respect for man. They like this world. And you wrote, if you friends of this world, you're enemy of God. And they are enemies of mine. I'm in you. They are enemy to me too. Lord, Father, ministering to you, I learned. The only Father God called Lord Father's children sweet smelling saviors of Jesus Christ. Why? Lord Father, the children that is in us lack knowledge. They do not know why we are the way we are. Lord, Father, do Lord God's children know everything is forgiven except one thing? Lord, Father, this is what you wrote to us. It's written. St. Matthew, the 12th chapter, the 34th, 36th, and 37th verse. Old generations of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. 36 verse. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account of thereof in the day of judgment. Even their thoughts you know, Lord. 
the 37th verse. For by thy words thou shalt be justified and be and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Lord, please forgive us. Make this the last time because the truth will be read to all God's children. Father, Lord, Lord, Father, ministering to you, it is written, 2 Peter, the third chapter, the 16th through the 18th verse. As also in all his epistles, speaking to them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable wrestle. West, W-R-E-S-T. As they do also the scriptures unto their own destruction. That's what they're doing. They're just trying to destroy us, Lord, with your word. The 17th verse. Ye therefore love Seeing ye know these things before, beware, at least ye also be led away with the air of the wicked. Fall from your own steadfastness. The 18th verse. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Lord, I wrote a song. You are the Lords of Lords, the King of Kings, the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. People thank you for their birthdays, Lord. But I thank you for forgiving us. Us. All that is in us. For now the truth will be told. That you are the lords of lords and kings of kings. St. John, the 12th chapter, the 28th verse. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it, I will glorify it again. He is come back. He's the one that healed the sick. He's the one that raised the dead. He's the one that died all power in his hands. Jesus is his name. I'm not ashamed. Jesus, he is coming.
back in the bathroom with a shabby rag, me shack and pill to go. He's the one that comes back that everyone will know. He's the one that got up from the grave. He's the only one that I know. He's saving the name of Jesus. Jesus. All nation praise the name of name is Jesus. 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 Every nation praise the name of name is Jesus. The Lord, the Lord, the King, the King, Arthur, and the Bishop. The beginning and the end. I'm not ashamed. His name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, he is coming again. Only Father God and only Son, his name is Jesus. The only Father God and Son, his name is Jesus. The only Father God and Son, his name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to praise your name. This is the birthday that I was born on. And I'm going to praise your name, Lord, this day. And all until you come. Every day all day long. Children of God, thank you for coming to runallgodschildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show you what he wrote to us. Oh, children of God, sorrow, beginning of sorrow. You're supposed to rejoice in tribulation. Yeah, strengthen you. So let's see how much rejoicing you're going to get out of what is about to happen. Take care of yourself.